I thought I would do one another one, one another one, and then one another one, another one. Of those videos where I just talk about something. And um, I, I send out a, uh, a call uh, about topics that people would want me to talk about. And there were some very interesting responses, some very pen related, some not pen related. So I thought I would, I would kind of go through the, the pen related ones at first, um, because I do get the feeling that product reviews are nice and they are valued and such, but I sometimes feel that there are so many product reviews out there now that people also like more theoretical videos, which is, in my mind, I, I call that video essays. I talk about something usually they go over fairly well so if you have any topics that you would like me to talk about uh, then by all means leave a comment and I'll, I'll, I'll get to it as soon as I can today's topic in um, I, I, I put out that that call on, on Instagram so it's very short little things that I got but it was something about writing meditation journaling and um, I think it's a very interesting topic journaling in particular is something that I kind of have a, a love-hate relationship with. Um, I, I do journal, and the, I have journaled in the past too. My issue with journaling is, first of all, I think it's very important to acknowledge our limitations. I'm not an expert on journaling or anything. Uh, so I know there are different journaling styles, I know it's the bullet journaling and all that, but I really know very little about that, so I'm not going to provide you with a theoretical exposure of all the different ways in which you can journal here. But I will talk a little bit about what I do and how that works for me. Now, when I say I have a love-hate relationship with journaling, that is because I have journaled in the past, I journal a bit now, um, but I'm not consistent. And uh, I, I like to think of myself as a fairly consistent person. I, 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 I I usually get in, in grooves fairly easily, um, but when it comes to journaling, I typically start off very enthusiastically, uh, write in a journal every night, and then it becomes every other night, once a week, once a month, etc. So it, it, it goes down fairly quickly. Having said that, I know that is the way I am, and I also don't mind that necessarily. I see little need to write down in a journal today was a simple day nothing happened some people do and i'm not judging that i'm just saying for me that's not very valuable so the the way i have found journaling works for me um is to write when i have something to write about the journal when i have something to journal about as opposed to forcing myself to sit down every night morning whatever you you know time would work for you and forcing myself to write because when i do that it kind of takes out the enjoyment and if anything it becomes a chore because oh i should i should i should i should sit down and journal and i should do this right now and i should that to me does not work so maybe you're like me and it's also hard for you to do this consistently. Do it every day. And if you do it every day, then that's that's awesome. But if you're like me, and it's hard for you to do it every day, I think that's perfectly fine. I don't think there are there are rules or or hard and fast laws um, that that we should adhere to when we are journaling. Journaling is something you do for yourself. For example, I um, I, I give you. A personal example, if if you don't mind, I um, it's nothing. It's not going to be anything terrible or something. Um, but I, I kept a journal throughout my PhD as I was working on my PhD, and that again started off very enthusiastically. Every single day, I would I would write, uh, and and that phased out. And I think about maybe three quarters of a year in or a year in, it it phased out into once every week, every couple of weeks, then once every few months, and. Uh, I think, again, that's perfectly fine. It was very helpful to me at the time. And even now, I, I keep a journal, but sometimes half a year passes before I write in it again. But this is the point I'm trying to make. What works for me 
is journaling when I have something to journal about. Then I write about that and sometimes I may write five pages. And to me, that is preferable to having a simple entry along the lines of today, nothing happened. I was at work and nothing happened. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but just to get the point across, right? That to me is not very helpful because in my mind, to me, and of course, your mileage may vary, uh, but to me, journaling is a therapeutic thing. It, it is. It's a way for me to work through certain things mentally, psychologically, emotionally. And that I have found, to me, is the biggest benefit of journaling. It's not keeping a record of things I've done in my life, although invariably it is that a little bit because you're writing about those things that have happened and that are going on in your life. But more important than that, I have found it, the practice of journaling, I have found that to be a very helpful way to work through certain things, to process things, to analyze things, um, to synthesize things sometimes. And I find quite often that when I do that, when I sit down, especially because it's handwritten, you slow down, you think about every word you want to write. I found that to be a very therapeutic endeavor because something may have happened to you uh, that, and I'm not talking about deeply traumatic things, I'm, I'm talking about the, the stresses of every day that everybody experiences. I found it to be very helpful, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> to sit down, write, and reason through step by step what has happened, how it has made me feel, and what I could do different in the future. And I find that, that trifecta of things, what happened, how did it make me feel, what will I do different in the future to not feel that way again or to make sure that doesn't, at least try to make sure that thing doesn't happen again. That I found immensely helpful. I really have. And again, this does not mean that I need to do that every single day, but if something happens, that is what I do to work through it. And that I have found helpful and useful. So for me, that is what works. Now, for you, different things may work. But when we speak of it, th that's what, what happens. I think something like bullet journaling, I think something like the what, what, what people do if they're like one, one line a day, it's awesome. It's just not for me. For me, that, that would probably not work because I would, I would struggle to do it. And I, tying this in just a tiny bit, to the, the, the other videos I do on, on talking about stoicism. There is a book by, by um, Ryan Holiday. Um, and now I'm completely blanking on the title, which is incredibly obnoxious. Anyway, um, it's, it's basically a, a stoic quote a day. So you use January 1st, January 2nd, January 3rd. And uh, it, it is accompanied by you can you can buy a separate sort of like a like a, a workbook journal type thing, uh, where you have a a slot for I think morning and evening um, to reflect on that quote in the book, um, and I'm, I'm really sorry I can't remember the title. Um, anyway, easy to find Ryan Holiday, uh, and I've, I've I did that, and for a full year I. I, I, I reflected on those quotes every every day and, and I found it helpful, I found it useful. But again, I had to force myself to sit down, reason through, think, write. And although it was helpful, useful, educational, it wasn't easy and it wasn't necessarily enjoyable because it became a chore almost of, oh oh yeah i've got to sit down and do the the daily stoic daily is that what it's called no that's his newsletter what's it called i am I'm, I'm getting old anyway um it, it was that like i have oh I, oh I have to do that still i have to um yeah right after i've done the dishes so to speak i, I have to i have to 
And that, that was, it doesn't work for me. So anyway, that's it for me. When something happens, then I may journal and typically find it helpful. But other times, no. Um, another thing to, to address quickly is the, uh, the meditative aspect of writing. And because I know that people are going to ask, so what kind of journal do you use? A very simple, um, a, I think it's A5, it's about A5, one of those no, uh, moleskin, uh, simple moleskin, moleskin, pardon me, uh, notebooks, very simple, in a Galen leather folio. It's, it's a simple setup. Um, the other thing I think that we should address is the meditative aspect of writing. That is something I sympathize with greatly. I think, to me, and I, I'd not think, I mean, to me, writing is very meditative and I find it very meditative to sit down and write and this ties in very strongly to what I said before you work through certain things I work through certain things as I write about them as I stop as I think how to write something that process alone is working through certain things and that is a meditative process, and I find it incredibly helpful. That is one of the things I find incredibly helpful. Uh, and not just helpful, but meditative. It's calming and soothing to me to sit down and write. Use, use a nice pen, not if it skips half the time, because then it becomes very frustrating, right? But have a nice pen, a good ink, a, a nice paper, so basically not moleskin. But anyway, um, you know, you, you, you sit down, you, you write... And I find that that activity very helpful and meditative and soothing. Just the act of sitting down. If something, someone emotional has happened to you, for example, again, I'm not talking about deeply traumatic things. I'm talking about simple everyday life things. Uh, sitting down, have a nice cup of tea, write, think, process is a very nice ritual. So there absolutely is a meditative aspect to writing for me, way more than there is in typing. I, I mean, I'm, I have a type of job where, where I'm, 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 I type, I create lecture slides, um, I, I do all these things. That's not meditative. That's, that's work. Typing, typing, I don't, I don't find that meditative. But sitting down and writing, that's a whole different story. And it's uh, another fun way to actually use your pens, because that's another important question uh, that maybe I should answer in another video. Um, but but what do you use your pens for? Because at some point, grocery lists don't cut it no more. I know. Um, and and then journaling can be a great way to to use use your pens. Yeah. I'll save that one for another video. We're about thirteen minutes. I think that's a good. Um, duration for these videos because I don't want to bore you to death or, or start to repeat myself uh, so there you have it I hope that was an answer to your question uh, thank you for the question it was a good one and an interesting one I, I enjoyed it uh, so I hope this was of some interest to you and um, I'll gladly see you later bye bye oh and any topics you pen related whatever you want me to talk about leave me a comment please thank you bye